tests. In this video we are going to discuss about pressure sensors installation methods. This is sensors installation methods video series part 2. Pressure general. Pressure sensors are affected by orientation. Pressure tubes must be provided with an isolatable T fitting near the device head for test purposes. To prevent overload on one side when making adjustments, the connection must always be fitted with an isolating bypass. Where there is a risk of condensation, the differential pressure tube must be installed at a gradient of 130 and fitted with a drain mechanism. The drainage point must be lower than the device head and sensing point. Protect from frost and avoid U-shapes. Pressure tubes containing circulating air must not be introduced into the open air or routed through cold rooms or ducts. This prevents the risk of condensate freezing in the tubes, for example with pneumatic venting sensors. Mount on a vibration-free surface. The pressure tapping point must not be located in turbulent air. Ensure sufficiently long settling zones upstream and downstream of the tapping point. A settling zone consists of a straight section of pipe or duct, with no obstructions. Pressure air. The measuring tip is screwed or glued to the duct wall. Seal to protect from external air. Remove any swore from the inside of the duct. Protruding fixing screws will impair correct measurement. Correct installation. Avoid using tips which protrude into the duct for static pressure measurements. Probes are used to measure static pressure in the duct. Must be installed parallel to the flow and either with the flow or against it. Sizing the pressure tubes, measuring tubes, for air and gases. Keep the tube as short as possible. An internal diameter of 4 mm is sufficient for pressure tubes of up to 2 m in length. For longer pressure tubes, the internal diameter should be as indicated in the diagram. Example, a pressure tube of 6 m requires an internal diameter of 6 mm. Connect the sensor and measuring instrument to the same point. The tapping point must not be located where it will be affected by obstructions to the flow. Where more than one sensor is used, the sensors should be installed on the same plane in the flow, and not in a position where one device will obstruct the airflow to the other. DG equals equivalent diameter, leave sufficient clearance downstream of any obstacles. Pressure room. The end of the pressure tube leading into the room should be protected by an air permeable cover. Seal gaps between cable, plastic tubing and conduit. Otherwise measurements will be falsified by incorrect circulation of the air. Options. Calculate average based on pressure measurements taken on several facades. Measure pressure in an open space, min 1.5 meters above ground level. Multiple sensing point on flat roof. Pressure outside air. Measure the outdoor pressure in an area sheltered from wind. Individual facades are not suitable measurement locations, as the pressure varies according to the wind direction. The correct location for measurement is a place where the air can circulate freely, such as a flat roof. Note, however, that the sensing point must be fitted with a wind shield. Pressure liquids. Pressure tapping point. Sensing hole, diameter 5 mm, drilled into bird. Smooth interior, no burrs. Use a damping coil to avoid transferring vibrations. Bend a 1 meter long copper pipe, 4, 6 mm in diameter, into a spiral with loops with a diameter of 15 cm. Wrong, air bubbles and condensate remain trapped. Wrong. Condensate cannot be drained. Pressure measurement in conjunction with liquids. Do not measure at the top of the pipe, trapped air or air bubbles, or at the bottom, dirt. The correct location for a sensing point is at the side. Condensing gases. Measure at the top to prevent condensate from entering the pressure tube. Installation in conjunction with liquids. Always install the pressure sensor in a location which is lower than the sensing point. Installation in conjunction with vapors, gases. 
Always install the pressure sensor in a location which is higher than the sensing point. Will we hope this video is helpful to you. We will meet you in another good video. Thank you for watching our video.